A New Mexico mayor who blocked people with COVID from quarantining at a hotel in his city is now changing course after the state stepped in. News 13's Courtney Allen brought you this story earlier this week. She's live at home tonight with an update. Courtney. Dean, the city of Socorro held an emergency city council meeting today over the issue, but 10 minutes before it started, the mayor got a letter from the state. The barricades are down at the Days Inn in Socorro. Our voice was heard. This comes after the mayor of Socorro blocked off the hotel Monday morning, which he says was being set up as a quarantine location for members of the Navajo Nation without his knowledge. He's opened it back up after the Department of Health contacted the city this afternoon. I'm glad they were able to, to help us in our favor. In a letter to Mayor Ravi Basker and city councilors, the DOH says they are in full support of the Navajo Nation's efforts and implementing the plan, something Basker was not happy about in today's city council meeting. I'm very disappointed in them. I am very disheartened because resources that we have, if something goes wrong out there, are totally lacking. While the DOH says it believes the shelter can operate with no significant risk to the community, some city council members question the safety protocols in place. As Basker told News 13 earlier this week, it's a voluntary program, raising concerns that sick people could leave when they want and infect others. I don't think you're going to be controlled. I don't think anybody has had any of those answers. Basker says he still doesn't know anything about the plans and says he doesn't feel supported by the state. The Department of Health, frankly, doesn't care. They have an equation that states that if you quarantine, the numbers will go down. And they just firmly believe in that, and they're going to use our city to do that in. Meanwhile, former Alamo Navajo tribal leader Hector Garrow, who believed the mayor's actions were discriminatory, says he's happy the state stepped in. This is a huge win for us just because this allows my people to heal. This allows my people to get better so that they can go home to their families. News 13 reached out to the Navajo Nation for comment, but we did not hear back. Basker says he's having a meeting with those involved tomorrow. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. Basker says that the governor's staff, Senator Martin Heinrich's staff, and Representative Zochel Torres Small all reached out to him about this issue.